Okay, so. I don't know if you've watched many of my videos, but I've had a few on Mediterranean fan pumps. I had one on the variability of uh, Mediterranean fan pumps. I'll put a link. It's the one in my garden. So beautiful. But I wanted to show you, actually, in real time, so many different uh, strains of this thing. So look at this one, right? It's super... This is what I call an ugly duckling right there. That's an ugly duckling. Okay, it's really stringy. Like, it's, they're just vertical, and they take a long time to open up. And when they do, I don't know, they're just, like, not that pretty. But I don't know, you know? Somebody might want this plant because it's just such a freak of nature, right? Okay, now let's move on. There's that one. Look at this one. Single trunk. Decided didn't want to send any pups up. That's a variability. But look at this one. It's got silver on the back side, which is so beautiful. And it's got this gorgeous green top to it. Really beautiful. It, very different from that one there. See what I'm saying? Uh, so let's see, here's some more. Here's another silver one. Silver right there. Okay, now look at this one. This one's kind of interesting. This one's actually really pretty. It's different, it's really dwarfy. It's got a nice green to it. It's got a miniature frond to it, not very big at all. This is actually, this could trim out to be a really beautiful plant. I might buy that plant. Um, here's one that just decided to get a really big head. And it's just ginormous. Okay. And then let's find some more variability here. Okay, here's one that's really pretty. It's really green, dark green. Very dense. Uh, trimmed out. This will be a beautiful plant. Okay, see the difference in here? Everything about it's different. I mean, look at the foliage on this so different okay and then right next to it well this that's really a serifera that's actually a different species i believe um yeah there's chamrops humulus and chamrops serifera um what else i saw another one over here so there's that one that one's you know got a beautiful luster screen but you can see it doesn't really have a silvery backside to it so this is just like a lush lush green one so that's a real nice one um this one's more miniaturized right here. It has miniature foliage. It has more of a locus color to it. Uh, it's just a more diminutive form. Look at this one. This one's interesting. Look at this. Here's a solid leaf. See that? All right. This one's kind of cool. So, well, you can see what it does when it gets bigger. It's just these kind of more solid, solid uncut section of the frond kind of pretty all right now here's a freak 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 you guys ever seen the leafless bird of paradise this would be a good companion plant <laughs> this is the leafless there's collectors that have these at their houses and they're super proud of them i'm like i don't know guess the beauty's in the eye of the beholder but um maybe i should buy this and put it in the nursery just as a freak it trimmed up it might be really interesting looking but it just never they never really open look at that that's as much as they open right there. Most of the time they stay shut, even when they're old. Isn't that bizarre? If you have a freak, if you have, a, if you're one of those kind of people, you're a freak, freak, super freak. You got a super freak garden? This is the plan for you. So let me know. Maybe I'll buy this. Yeah. Isn't that wild? Look. <laughs> this would be a trip like in a modern garden or something with lights on it bunch of crazy like metal elements around it that are really stiff and formal i don't know yeah i'm thinking that's pretty cool maybe i'll get that one but that's pretty much the variability there's even more um but uh you know there's a little dwarf one right there this one has a nice big head